One man whose unique voyage of discovery took a tumble this week is Sir Ranulph Fiennes when frostbite halted his trip to the North Pole. Ricky Gervais has this report. Today, one of England's greatest explorers, Sir Ranulph Fiennes, is recovering after abandoning his attempt to walk to the North Pole. He was only one week into a journey that was expected to last up to three months and is a... who gives a shit? Seriously, I mean, posh people with more money than sense and too much time on their hands. The next time a rich, bearded twat gets stuck up a mountain, don't rescue him by helicopter and put him on the news. Put him into prison for being so fucking stupid in the first place <laughs> and wasting everyone's time. So, I mean, do you know why Sir Ranoff turned back? Yeah, his hand, putting his sled out of the water. Yeah, a week alone in a tent. That's how he hurt his hand. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, he was putting his sled all right. And why was he doing it? He wanted to go to the North Pole via the hardest route. Right, start off at the South Pole and make sure you cut through Whitley Estate in Reading. That's the hardest fucking route. Walking like that. Yeah, you won't get mugged. Actually, you won't get mugged. The murderers killed all the muggers in the 80s. Right. And you get all this, oh, he was doing it for charity. Right, well, he failed. He doesn't get the money. Rules of sponsorship. We did a sponsored swim in the juniors, and one lad drowned in the deep end on his first whip. <laughs> Didn't get paid. So like, I feel sorry for the little div kids he was collecting for, wherever it was. They won't get their mini bus, right? But if they're so worried, why don't they have their arse and do something? We haven't got any legs. Not my problem. And also, what, the point? what great scientific discovery did you make on this intrepid journey, Sir Ranulph? Mm, it was cold. Cold, was it, at the North Pole? Cold, you <laughs> And if Channel 4 beat that, you're a bunch of queers, all right? This is Ricky Gervais in front of a backdrop, London. It's about 80 degrees in here. It's a waste of... <laughs> and now for more on Explorer Sir Ranulph Fiennes, we have a live to Ricky Gervais. Ricky, is there any more news on Sir Ranulph Fiennes' condition? I don't care about upper-class knobs, I told you once, who've never done a decent day's work in their lives and do pointless things to show off. I don't just mean you two useless sods, but I reckon most of these explorer types are, you know, like yourself, Ian, really. Very crafty butchers. Crafty butchers? Yeah, like their meat delivered around the back. <laughs> not, not, not finesy. Not finesy. No, no. no like, you know, like Captain Scott in the Antarctic? They got stuck without enough food, so Oates said, I'm going outside, I may be some time. The ultimate self-sacrifice. But who do we hear this from? The survivors. How do we know that happened? I reckon Scott and the rest of them bullied him out of the tent. That's you know what it? you reckon, is it? Well, yeah, they've probably said, if you don't leave the tent, Oatsy, without your balaclava, we tell everyone you wet the sleeping bag and you tried to bum us in our sleep. <laughs> it got him to leave, you know what I mean? I think he made the, the right decision. Mind you, if he gave him that easy, he probably was a bit of a chutney ferret. Right, I'm going to stop you there, Gervais. Thanks a lot. Yeah, whatever.